And we have been watching that snow pick up all afternoon on I-70 at the Evergreen exit. At times, visibility is pretty low. Now, this is now the seventh day this month we have had snow in the Denver area. That means sharing the roads with plows. Our Matt Kroschel is live now in Summit County. And Matt, you talked to one man who says his car got damaged by a plow. And this guy was actually driving under an I-70 overpass when he says everything went black and he was covered in glass. Maybe. And it pretty much shattered the windshield and have some stuff coming inside. Peter Farches was headed to Georgetown from his home in Silver Plume to stock up on groceries during a break in the massive storm this past Sunday when it happened. Right off the bed, I knew it was a big chunk of uh, ice that fell off the overpass on the, on, the, on the windshield. He says a passing CDOT plow out working to clear the interstate of deep snow overhead. Yeah, driving along and boom. Sent a wall of ice and debris cascading down on him. He didn't have time to react. The thing was, actually, I saw a plow coming before I went on the underpass. While scary, he wasn't hurt. The van needs a new windshield, and now he's looking into a little known state damage reimbursement program to help cover the costs. We did report it with uh, uh, the state uh, patrol. Um, and then we'll see if we can uh, file a claim. CDOT tells us the State Office of Risk Management handles all of these claims. They will cover the cost of repairs in some cases, and they're going to review this situation. That's a scary moment, definitely. Peter says he's extremely grateful for the crews from CDOT out there working in very tough conditions to keep roads open and safe, but he hopes that his story hopes uh, to help other people that could find themselves in a similar situation find the resources they need. We are live in Summit County. Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First. Matt, thank you. And the information you need to begin a claims process is on CBSDenver.com.